What's up, high levelers? It's Andrew. Before we were really only able to use scoring with numeric values and such, and only specific fields for math calculations for our scoring feature in forms and surveys. But now we have opened it up to more fields like radio selects, check boxes, single drop downs, multi drop downs. So now we can use all different types of fields when using the scoring feature in forms and surveys. It's super exciting. So let me show you how it works. To see this feature in action, go ahead and open up any form or survey, and you'll be able to use the scoring feature on the left-hand side. If you haven't used scoring, then you'll be able to see it as a survey or form element at the bottom. So you'll see under customize, we can upload our score, and this will be our score element that we're going to be using within the survey. Now, if you don't know how scoring works, it essentially works by taking specific answers, applying specific scores to them, and then adding it all up in the total score at the very end. So whenever you're working with your score, if you click your score element and then click calculations, you'll be able to add in different fields. And now we can add in radios, single drop downs, multi drop downs, check boxes, all sorts of different fields to add into this section. So this is an example of what our scoring looked like before we would have numeric values being as you can see this is a number field and monetary fields right here we use these scores and then in our final score you can see our calculation divides multiplies adds up those numeric and monetary values well now with this score for example we're going to add in a radio we're going to add in a single drop down and let's say a checkbox. Then what we're going to do with these fields, these new fields that we can use scoring on under options, we can now enable calculations. So this is super exciting. We can now assign values to specific options such as one, two, and three. We'll add the value of one, two, and three for our radio. For our drop down, we can do the exact same thing under options. We can enable calculations, apply calculation values to each of these different options. And we can do the same thing for checkboxes and multi drop downs just like this by just toggling on that enable calculations. Then under score, we can take our scoring element, click calculations, add fields, and then we can now see those additional fields, those radio fields, those drop down fields, and those checkboxes. Those will all go into the total score. So we can now use additional field types with our scoring feature, which is really helpful, especially if you are collecting data via radio buttons and checkboxes and single drop downs rather than just numbers or monetary fields. So this is a really exciting way to further customize our forms and surveys using the scoring feature. Now let's talk about real life use case for this feature. If you remember last time we talked about scoring in forms and surveys, you might remember this little business idea valuation tool where we took initial investments, time commitments, product pricing, and for an example, how many months the user can wait before making money all number or monetary fields. And then we calculated how much their business idea will be worth. This was before when we could only use number and monetary fields. So by throwing in this radio button, just like this, we're going to go to options, enable calculations. And then if they say very, we're going to assign 10. If they say sorta, we're going to assign five. And if they say not at all, we will assign zero. Then what we're going to do is we're going to, after all of our other calculations in the final business idea valuation, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it one last time by or how committed are you field by selecting this and putting it into the calculation just like that and clicking save. Now to test it in action, we're going to fill out this form. We're going to say we're going to invest $100, commit 40 hours a week. We're going to put in our product pricing and then we're going to put in how many months we can wait before making money. And then finally, we won't get our business idea until we can select how committed we are. And if we select very, we get a very high amount. But if we select anything beneath that, you'll see we're going to get a lower amount. I'll show you in a second. So as you can see, we throw in similar numbers and we select, let's say not at all, and it multiplies it by zero and our business idea is now worth zero. So this is a really fun way that we can mess with our scoring within forms and surveys, especially by being able to use multiple different types of fields. But if you have any questions about how this feature works or maybe how you can implement it in your business yourself, leave a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching.